Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Cancer December 23, 2022. While Jupiter just changed signs and sent you on a mission to add more extracurricular activities to your life, the Sun moves into your work and health sector, reminding you of the importance of routines. With this new Sun transit that lasts until January 20, you can be busy getting your life into better order. Taking charge of your work and health routines is rewarding now as you awaken to a need to lead a more organized, productive, and healthier lifestyle. Getting organized and enjoying what you do can naturally lead to improvements and updates to those systems in your life that have fallen out of alignment. Focusing on self-improvement through self-care programs can be especially useful at this time of the year. Today, the clash between Jupiter and the Sun is in full force. The day seems to challenge you to break out of a rut or pattern preventing you from growing. Aim to be mindful, for if you act out without self-awareness, you may be taking risks, overpaying, or jumping into, or leaving, something too quickly. You may want to do it all today, but a moderate approach makes better sense. It's beginning to look and feel a lot like the winter solstice. Today marks the turning of the wheel to dance onward into the winter months in the northern hemisphere. While you prefer the zest and passion of the summer, you still appreciate all the seasons of life. During the month to come, embrace your sensitivity and inner shadow as you work through it to illuminate it and walk closer toward the light. Despite the nights being long and the weather chilly, you can do deep soul-searching to understand yourself and others better. Focus on having a little fun at work. Today, the moon will enter fiery Sagittarius and the sun will enter earthy Capricorn. Embrace the fiery lunar energy to focus on your creative endeavors and passion projects at work. You might feel inspired by the bold lunar energy, which is a perfect way to begin Capricorn season. Throughout Capricorn season, you may need to adopt a work hard, play hard mentality. Use today's transits to set the tone for your work life throughout the rest of Capricorn season. You might be pleasantly surprised by how productive you are. While the Dwarf Planet series left your income sector earlier in the week, this has left you with a sense of where the money is but also of your income needs and priorities as the sun returns to your work sector today. The planets already in your income sector had all spent weeks with Ceres before she left, making this something that is baked in as things come together on not just the job front but on the career front as well. Today, give yourself more than enough time to do the most mundane things. Being rushed by others is also not something you will react well to. One of the best ways to escape the expectations of others is to set your limits and stick to them like crazy. Give yourself an extra workout, try some new form of exercise in addition to your regular routine. I do not mean that you should push yourself too far, but you have the extra energy today, and it's best that you use it for your own purposes, not someone else's. Expressing yourself will be important to you today. Not only is expression going to be a need but being heard will also. You are known for being the social number the one that knows how to have fun. But even you have a serious side that needs to be recognized. Use your creativity to find ways to speak your heart and mind, such as music, painting, or even the written word. If you look, you'll find the way. While it is a given that this is the point in every year when the sun will leave a playful and creative part of your chart and return to your busy work sector, the difference this year is how abrupt this is. After just over five weeks of planetary activity, when the sun leaves today this will not only end his month-long visit but for the first time in 32 years, he is the last planet to leave. Instead, the planets that will often hang around for a few more days or weeks are already in your busy work sector. Until joining them tomorrow, today's playful lunar vibes are begging to be embraced. Having the moon here as the sun leaves your romantic sector today could do more than just keep the spirit of romance alive for another day. As Jupiter spends his first full day in an adventurous part of your chart a friendly aspect to the moon yesterday has already brought the spirit of romance and adventure together and can hopefully keep it together even after the moon leaves tomorrow. Our Eyes in the Sky
The sun moves into Capricorn today, marking the solstice and beginning of winter. This ambitious sign lends us plenty of resilience as we navigate the holiday season. A square between the sun and Jupiter gives us the opportunity to communicate bluntly, but try to avoid being too matter-of-fact with people who are especially sensitive. The energy here can also cause our focus to shift toward the things we want to accomplish before the year ends, while considering our goals and resolutions as we continue to inch toward 2023. You feel impatient, on edge, unable to relax, it's particularly difficult to find any peace. If you're normally calm and well-balanced this is the stimulation you need to put plans you have been thinking about for a long time into action. With such an enterprising attitude you may be overstretched, if you feel on edge, allow yourself the peace you need. If you enjoy buying yourself something new, go ahead and do it. You have the means to do so, and it's about time you treated yourself. Your finances allow you to make a small investment and you are sensible enough not to overspend. An opposition between the Sagittarius Moon and Mars retrograde can put us in touch with our personal power without sacrificing our sympathy toward others. Remember that helping others and you can helps you score karma points while providing an excellent outlet for this aspect. The energy here could make people a bit insensitive and more oriented around themselves, so try not to lose touch with your empathy, and avoid triggering discussions that could lead to arguments. Energy levels could take a hit as well, so try to pace yourself if you start to feel sluggish. If you can, go to bed a bit earlier tonight. In the late afternoon, the sun exits broad-minded Sagittarius and enters tenacious Capricorn, the sign of the seagoat. Its ingress corresponds to the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere and the summer solstice in the southern hemisphere, marking the shortest and longest days of the year respectively. During Capricorn season, we seek to erect stable foundations upon which to build an enterprise. Our goals may be work-oriented, aligned with Capricorn perseverance, or relationship-oriented, aligned with Capricorn loyalty. Capricorn is a cardinal earth sign. It archetypally resonates with initiation, as well as with grounding our desires and visions into a tangible container. For any great work to be accomplished, we must be aware of the time, resources, and energy that we can devote to it. We must persist despite stacked odds, yet also know when to cut our losses. Here, we have a true opportunity to work literal magic, pulling our imaginative designs out of the ether, turning our fantasies into realities. In the late afternoon, the sun squares off with Jupiter in Aries, an aspect that will play a role in the upcoming December 23rd new moon. This transit makes us indulgent and overly optimistic. We can lose focus and become less disciplined in our work, believing that everything will organically sort itself out without applied attention. However, the Capricorn sun is an especially committed sun, so we have less to worry about in terms of follow-through. In fact, that may be the central problem. During the Sun-Jupiter square, we risk zealously making too many promises under the assumption that we can accomplish whatever we set our minds to. In the heat of the moment, we have no doubt that our initiatives will succeed. Yet when the dust settles, we may find that we've taken on too many assignments and we are unable to quit any of them. The best approach now is to wait and think about things before committing. Give yourself a week before firming up any plans.